most recent landmine statistics to date, 2012. And in that year, eight countries had more than 100 landmine casualties. One person who knows this all too well is Megan Burke. She's executive director of the International Campaign to Ban Landmines. Well, definitely efforts to clear landmines um, have to be handled uh, fairly specifically in each country. Um, but the different techniques are fairly well known. We have a lot of uh, expertise around the world in doing it. Uh, and sometimes there's manual processes, sometimes mechanical. But the most important point is to get started and get the job done. One of the treaties that's supposed to help coordinate efforts is called the International Mine Treaty. There are a few dozen countries that have not signed on, including China. What is the purpose of this treaty and what other agreements are out there? So the Mine Ban Treaty, also sometimes called the Ottawa Convention, um, is a total ban on the use, production, sales, transfer of anti-personal landmines and it also calls requires the countries that are party to the treaty to clear landmines and calls on them to assist the the victims of these weapons um, the mine ban treaty um, now has 162 countries that are states parties um, and there are 35 who have yet to join the treaty in addition uh, there's also another legal instrument uh, it's called the uh, convention on Conventional Weapons, uh, Protocol 2, that uh, restricts the use of landmines under certain conditions, but it's not a total ban. Megan, we're all following the developments in places like Syria, and there we're seeing reports of the use of chlorine gas and barrel bombs, but not landmines. Are there certain countries or governments still using and deploying landmines? So the use of landmines these days, uh, particularly by governments, is extremely limited. Um, in the last year or so, we've only seen use by governments in four countries, um, in Myanmar, uh, in just recently there were allegations in South Sudan. Um, basically, it's very few in number. There are a few other countries, also a limited number, where there are non-state actors, non-state armed groups who are using landmines. Um, but essentially, it's, it's a handful of countries where landmines are being used, and this is a major progress since about 15 years ago when these weapons were banned, and they were being used in dozens of countries around the world. A moment ago, we mentioned the effort to remove unexploded ordinances from places like Afghanistan. Is there, being, is there enough attention being paid to these issues, or what can people do to help? Well... Definitely, uh, there's a fair amount of attention being, being paid to the issue, um, and all the more, the better. This is a problem. Uh, landmines are a problem that we know how to solve. Uh, and with a concentrated effort, we believe that in nearly every place in the world, within about 10 years, we can basically declare mission accomplished. Um, the way to help, uh, certainly make sure that every country in the world gets on board the Mine Ban Treaty. Um, there are ways that people can donate money to support clearance. There are also a lot of governments that support clearance around the world. So uh, encouraging governments to support clearance is a, is a major step forward. Um, here in the United States, uh, the U.S. government uh, revised its landmine policy last year and came much closer to joining the treaty, and it's one of the, the largest donors for clearance efforts. Um, but there are also lots of individuals who, who support this effort and uh, make donations or join in the efforts to get more states to, to get on board. All right, Megan Burke, International Campaign to Ban Landmines. Thank you so much for joining us from Massachusetts. Sure, anytime. Thank you for having me.